Hi, this is Dave Chenault with Skylight Systems and in this video I'm going to take you through security and how it's used in Sidekick 365 XRM Ultimate. Security is very important to CRM systems and to users of the system because you want to make sure that only the right people are seeing the right things. Oftentimes you'll have different teams assigned to different areas of the country or different products and what you'll want to do is segregate out what people see based upon profiles that are assigned to those items. So we have a profile section set up here that has different security profiles that you can apply. And later on in the video I'll take you through how to set up these profiles and how they're used. But in this case we have a couple of profiles set up, one called Alan S. Profile and one for Brad S. Profile. These are for different salespeople in the company and we've associated different groups with each of these. There's a read group and a contribute group. The read group of course can just read the items and contribute can go in and edit the items but they can't delete lists and things like that within the app itself. It's just going to be able to change, anybody in that group can change the data. They can delete, update, it, add, etc. Okay so let's take a look at how this looks. Right now I'm logged in as Brad Steiner or Brad S profile and what I'm going to do is take a look at my accounts. Uh, let's take a look first and see what accounts I can see. So I can see Aaron William and Accurate Color, etc. And when I go into something like Accurate Color, you'll notice that when I open it, there'll be a profile assigned to this, and the profile is that Brad S. profile. That's very a uh, easy to add these in. All you do is when you add a new account or opportunity, you simply select the profile through the drop down that you want to assign. And those are the profiles listed over here in this module. Okay. Now let's log in as a different user. This one's going to be Alan S. And let's take a look and see the different accounts and opportunities that that user would see. So I'm just going to switch over to the Alan S. You notice here I've got opportunity 46, 308, etc. But let's go take a look if we're logged in as Alan. Now when I switch over here you'll notice I've got some different opportunities listed. There's no open task because this is a My Open Tasks. And let's go look at the accounts that um, Alan can see. And when I select that account list what you'll see is that he's seeing different accounts. He's seeing ABC Lock and Key, a limousine service, Ace Pest Control, etc. So he sees completely different accounts than what Brad would see. And the same thing would apply with all of the items associated with that account. So if there are documents, if there are um, opportunities, tasks, etc., if that has got a security profile assigned to it, then that user will not see um, other people's things. They're only going to see the things that they've been assigned based upon the profile they belong to. Okay, so what we'll do next is we're going to take a look at how to set up these profiles. So wait right there, I'll be right back with you. Hi, thanks for taking a little pause with me. Now I'm back in as the administrator in the system. And you'll see I'm on the home page now. I don't have any tasks uh, except for this one assigned because again I'm logged in as the admin. And then the opportunities, just this one opportunity is assigned to the administrator. But we're mostly interested here in the profiles and let's take a look and see what's going on with these. So going back into the list of profiles, what I'll see is there's a couple profiles listed and in that profile list I've also got a regroup and an edit group for each. And these are actually just uh, SharePoint groups in the system. And let's talk a little bit about that. I'm going to go out to the site where this app is hosted. That's called Ultimate 4. And I'm going to go into my SharePoint groups and take a look at how I set these up and talk a little bit about how to set up these different groups and how to use them with security. We've got a lot of sort of best practice pointers for you. Okay, so just waiting here on the site to come up and I'm going to go into site settings and look at my people and groups option there. Okay, so now we're in the host site of the app and I'm going to go into the settings for this particular app itself and take a look at what I've got set up on the, the people part of this. So if I go in here to site settings 
And in my site settings options, you're going to see that I have the ability to set up people and groups. And what I'll do is I'll take a look at those people and groups that I've set up. And we'll see how we put together these different groups. Now you'll see here I've got different uh, SharePoint groups. I've got the Brad S. Read, the Brad S. Contribute, Alan S. Read, etc. And these are just SharePoint groups that I'm working with. So in this case, if I go to Brad S. Contribute, it'll show me who's in that group. I've got Brad, Jenna, and then the admin is this test test user here, right? Now if I want to set up a new group, Let's go through how I do that. Let's say I wanted to set up a new profile. What I would typically do is set up a read group and a contribute group for each of those profile that I'm going to be setting up within XRM Ultimate. So if I say new, and I can give it a new group name here in SharePoint. So I'll call this new profile. And then I can do various settings, but the important ones are down here. If I want the people to be able to edit and add and delete items, I want to select the Contribute option here. If I selected Edit, they could actually go in and delete lists. We don't want them doing that. So if they're going to go ahead and be able to go in and add items, edit them, update, delete, etc., select the Contribute option. If you only want them to view, you select the View Only option. Now one thing you might be aware of, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's make a contribute and leave everything's fine. I'll actually say that group members can edit it and I'll create this new group. So it'll go ahead and create this group for me in SharePoint. Now one thing I wanted to talk about was how do I put groups of users? Let's say that I had um, different groups that I wanted to include you can't nest SharePoint groups. You can't say, I want a SharePoint group in a SharePoint group. It just doesn't support that. But what you can do is you can create groups in Office 365 or in Active Directory. And it's pretty easy to do. In Office 365, if you go into the admin section of the Office 365 console, you can create groups out there. And those groups are accessible right here by typing in new and typing in the name of that group for Office 365. You can do the same thing with Active Directory if you're on-premise or you've got federation going and you want to federate those Active Directory groups then you can go ahead and use AD and that way you can have groups of users that get assigned to these edit and these read groups that you create for the profiles. Okay so I would just go ahead and create a new profile and when I go back into the site or to the app. Let's go back into the app now. And I would simply, it's very easy to make a profile. I'll just give it a second here to come back. And when I say new profile, I'll get to name the profile and add in my read group and my edit group into this item here. So just waiting for it to come up. And if I say create new these are here. We've got project notes, etc. So it's not on this one. What I do is I just go into my profile list because this is not something you're going to do all the time. And the profile list will come up here and I just say new item. And it'll take me just a minute to do that. And then I would go ahead and put in a new profile. So I'll say new profile. And if you'll recall I had, I think I had new was the profile group name. So there's my new profile there you see and it'll want you to type in a, a group name here not a user. And this one I'll just put in Brad uh, for the regroup here that's fine. And I'll save it. So in this case anyone in Brad's regroup could read anything with this profile and then the new profile anyone assigned in that group would be able to then edit. And the way I would use it is just like this. Say account. When I make a new account, I'll have the option in the profile now will list this new profile as one of the assignments I can make. And then I can go ahead and give it a name, etc. And when I save it, all of those security permissions are automatically assigned. And then again, let's kind of recap what we've learned here. What we've learned is that Sidekick 365 XRM Ultimate supports this idea of security groups and it's very powerful because it lets you set up 
uh, different collections of users that can see different things. Now, if you don't assign a permission, assign a security profile, then everybody can see the items. But if you assign a profile, then it limits it to just the people in the read group and in the edit group. You can include groups within those, but they're going to be Active Directory groups or groups that you create in your Office 365 tenant administration. And you can create groups over there and include those in. And then when you do search or you use the system, you're only going to see the items that you've been assigned permissions to view. So if there's a profile assigned and you don't have edit or read assigned via those different groups that we've set up, you won't see the item and you won't be able to search to find it. Finally, if you have an account, an opportunity, a project, and you add in a related piece of content, let's say it's a document or a task or a project, etc., maybe a project underneath an account, then those permissions are automatically picked up and the persons assigned to that security profile are the only ones that can see those items. Okay, so I hope that that was clear. I hope you see the value of this. And again, if you don't assign a profile, then everybody can see it. And uh, that's not a problem. It's just available to everyone that logs in. Okay, this is Dave Chenault with Skylight Systems. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, you can always email us at info at skylightsystems.com. That's S-K-Y-L-I-T-E-S-Y-S-T-E-M-S.com. Thanks for watching and hope you found this valuable.